Blessed is our God, always known, and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art ever present and fill us all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all purity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> o most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, God of our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. O beloved, our life longs, O Lord of hosts, my soul longeth and danger for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself. She may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are are they that fall in thy house, and in the ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart, and the veil of the in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the law giver will give blessings. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give ear, O God, of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold, and look upon the face of that anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth, God will give grace and glory, the Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, into thy land, thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob, thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people, thou hast covered all their sins, thou hast made all thy wrath to cease, thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thy anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, or wilt thou draw thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation, do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people, and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh to them that fear him is the salvation that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness that will down from heaven. Near for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for for a medium I have preserved my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for today will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for today will I lift it up my soul. For now, O Lord, art good and gentle, and plenteous and mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of my affliction, of my cry, in the day for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou, O Lord, art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may share thy name. I will confess you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the death of most Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me in the assembly of the mighty that sat up for my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me behold me put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast hoped in me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast hoped in me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thy nativity of virgin Theotokos hath proclaimed joy to all the world. For from thee hath shown forth Christ our God, the Son of Righteousness, who, having annulled the curse, hath given his blessing, and having abolished death, hath granted us life everlasting. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. No thou who for his sake was born of a virgin, and is suffered crucifixion, O good one, and is spoil death by death, and as God does reveal the resurrection, Disdain not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the fail tokos who gave thee birth, intercedeth for us, and do thou our Savior save the despairing people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, God in our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The land is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and the heaven and unto the ages of the age of the Amen. But as sisters in the Spirit, ye who contended with endurance for the Trinity, have vanquished the greatly cunning enemy, Wherefore ye have made your abode with the five virgins in the heavenly bridal chamber, O passion bearers, and with angels ye stand in unceasing gladness before the King of all. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who follows all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Help us to support with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array when we attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed are thou for the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, that we magnify in the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God, be gracious to us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even into this present hour, we are now upon the life giving tree, and make a way into paradise for the wise seed, and by death this destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and to behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days are consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind. That putting aside the old man, you may be clad with the new, and live for the our master and benefactor, and that thus by following in thy commandments you may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and the gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee we send of glory, with thine unoriginate Father, thy most holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down to Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down to Christ Himself, our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, Thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast Thou put on, who coverest Thyself, and likest with a garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth His chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for His ascent who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, 
who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle. Upon the mountain shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou pointest a bound, they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valley, between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses await to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge from the midst of the rocks where they give voice. He watcheth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth and wine make it glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down at ends. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, and thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease in the earth, and they that work in iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness in there with the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and at the end of the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the out of the out of the air, glory to thee, O God. Out of the out of the out of the air, glory to thee, O God. Out of the out of the out of the air, glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Peace from above and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter here. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch, Kirill, for our Lord, the very most, Reverend Metropolitan, Alarion, First, Hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. All the noble abbot of this holy monastery, the commandrite seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this land, its authorities, and our forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
God preserved to us in land and as Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he may deliver his people from enemies, visible and invisible, and confirm in us oneness of mind, brotherly love and piety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. By sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To Loving 
kindness created an enemy in heaven. For the God of wonders, the hope of the hopeless, that forth his mother to spring forth as a life-bearing plant from the barren root. Glory to thee, O Lord. For thy name's sake, have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord, my soul has waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. This is the day of the Lord. Rejoice, O ye people. For the Lord, the bridal chamber of the light, and the book of the word of life hath issued forth from the womb, and the portal which faceth toward the east, having been born, awaiteth the entry of the great high priest. She alone leadeth the one Christ into the world for the salvation of our souls. Until night from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord, even though by the will of God, fame is barren, women have produced all offspring. Yet in divine majesty, Mary hath outshone all who have been born, for having been all gloriously born of a barren mother. She gave birth in the flesh to the God of all, in manner transcending nature, from a womb which knew not seed. She alone is the gate of the only begotten Son of God, and he passing through it that kept it close and arranging all things wisely in accordance with his knowledge, hath brought salvation for all men. The full atone for the Lord, there is mercy within his plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. In a woman's body, but in the guise of a man, Thou didst undertake manly struggles, living in the midst of men, causing the passions to wither, and utterly restraining the ragings of lust, by fasting and unceasing prayer of Theodora, and by thy divine and constant contemplation of God. Praise Him, all ye peoples. The sun setting beneath the earth never saw thee sin. And the Lord who knoweth men's hearts and seeth things hidden, knew thee to be untiring, and illumined the eyes of thy heart with the light of repentance. Wherefore thou didst diligently strive to please him through arduous abstinence and the perfection of the virtues. We have made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. In no wise understanding the ways of the enemy's thoughts. Thou didst love the child whom thou didst not beget, and didst nurture him with paternal kindness of the adora, enduring with true piety of mind the undeserved abuse and censure of men. Wherefore we celebrate thine honored solemnity. Glory to God now in the same tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And in accordance with the angel's prophecy, Thou didst issue forth from the righteous Joachim and on a lesson of pure fruit, heaven and the throne of God, a receptacle of purity, 
Heading for joys to all the world O virgin lady, ages of our life Remove all of the curse Bestow a blessing Wherefore on the feast of thy nativity O divinely called virgin Ask peace for the world and great mercy for our souls. O joyous light of the holy glory of the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father of Jesus Christ, having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening light, we praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. Meet it is for thee at all times to be hymned with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life, wherefore the world doth glorify thee. Let us attend. Peace be unto all, wisdom, the perfect God and the faithful. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do thy judgment. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do without judgment. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do thou judge me. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do thou judge me. God, sake, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, and disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is to praise, to thee is to a song, to be glorious to to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Follow the remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace. For the world, let us ask of the Lord. this, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. this, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant this, O Lord, calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, our most blessed, glorious, lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, Thou and the lover of mankind, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Glorify be the dominion of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
save us. For our honor, Lord, and the cherubim, and beyond him, be more glorious and the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the Edoim, and our Nephi. Glory to thee, O Christ, God our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy glorious and all praised apostles, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas, the wonder-worker, Archbishop of Mary and Lycia, of the Holy Great Mother and Healer Pontalina, of our Holy Mother Theodora of Alexandria, and of our Holy Father Daniel, Bishop of Bangor and, and Abbot of Wales in Wales, of our Holy Father Sergius and Herman from Novogorod back to Rowan to their monastery, of our Holy Father Euphrosinus the Cook, and of the Holy Blessed Xenia, of the Holy Silvan of Athos, and the Venerable Silvan of Mount Athos, whose memory we celebrate, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, your Wikimanon, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good, and the lover of mankind. Amen. Christians, preserve the Lord for many years.